We rescue pianos that are headed to the dump. We utilize the incredible community of artists that live in Portland. And then we put them into our public parks across the city. We also go to regular old street corners. And then at the end of the summer, we donate them to Forever Homes. It got started on 13th and West Burnside. It came out of a little bar on a summer's night and there was a cellist on that street corner. He was playing the most gorgeous music and I remember saying, I wish I could do that, but I'm a piano player and that's a lot harder to bring out to a street corner. I went into the Portland Piano Co. This wonderful woman was like, you know, actually we like that idea and we'll mount a piano on a dolly and when you want, you can push it up the street. I you know, found a couple friends from school. That Thursday we went, we grabbed the piano, we pushed it up, took turns playing music. And that's really where I came up with the name Piano Push Play, because I'm that's exactly what I'm doing, you know? I'd grown up playing piano. I'd heard people say, oh, that was, you know, good job, good job on that song, or this technical thing that you did was lovely, but I had never heard thank you, you know, which is different. I felt like I was transporting myself in my own city. Somebody sent me a video of somebody playing a painted piano in New York. And I was like, man, I don't want to wait for that project to come here. I'm going to figure out how to do it. Now that the public knows what I do, I get all of my pianos from people that are saying, I'm moving, or my son went to college, or my kids don't want to play anymore. I take 10 a year. I feel like all the visual artists really love to see work they've done be actually interacted with. I'm working on my piano today and it's all about harmony. I didn't actually come up with the design until I met my piano. <laughs> uh, I kind of get a feel of it while I'm sanding and primering. Tsune is um, part of Japanese folklore. She's a protector and all of these flowers, you know, they symbolize resilience and dragon's another good luck symbol. So this whole piano is just a good luck symbol. The last two years have been really hard on everyone. This project is kind of like a reminder for all of us that we can still come here and experience joy together. We have a beautiful kickoff every summer where we bring all 10 of them together in a big public concert. It's always free. They stay outside the whole time. They are tuned every couple of weeks. Now, there's no barriers to access, literally, because you know we're just saying, if you feel like it, come up and play. There's a bit of a psychology of like allowing people to be respectful and like showing that you, you believe in them, that they are going to take care of this. So far in the, all of 10 years, you know, we've had one or two incidences of any little thing kind of being damaged or something like that. But when I think of how many hundreds of people interact with these pianos every summer, I think that's a pretty darn good percentage of people really seeing this instrument and respecting it, loving it, enjoying it. I'm hoping that it just brings a little bit more magic to everybody's summer. <laughs>